Are you ready for a crystal ball that you can look into and see the next 5, 10, 20 years of your future? Well, welcome to this video because today we are going to talk about the spirit of Guayacwood essential oil that doTERRA has just released for us. My name is Desiree DeLunay, acupuncturist, herbalist, and essential oil expert. Welcome to my channel. We talk about how to improve the quality and free flow of chi in your body, mind, and spirit so that you are expressing the fullest version of your being. Once in a while, it would be nice to get some confirmation that we're on the right path, that the efforts that we are putting in and the time, the focus, the energy, it's actually going to work out in the end, yes? Or maybe we just need some guidance and some instruction on how to improve things so that our future is looking much brighter. Well, that's what Guayacwood is for. If you don't want to call a psychic, <laughs> right? Um, one of those websites, then, you know, just get this bottle of essential oil and put it in your diffuser. So let's chit chat about how Guayacwood works, what it's doing for you, and how it can really support and benefit you. Now, Guayacwood is a truth teller in a way, maybe kind of like a dream interpreter too. But let's just give this example of lab work. Now, now, lab work, when you go get your blood drawn and your doctor or your functional medicine doctor, naturopath, chiropractor takes a look at your lab work and gives you a bit of a breakdown, a rundown of what's happening. Now, the lab work is neutral, correct? It's not judgmental. It's not biased. It's only giving you a snapshot as to what's actually happening in your system. Um, how are your blood sugar levels, right? What's your fasting glucose, your HbA1c? How about your cholesterol levels, HDL, LDL? What about liver enzymes, kidney function, C-reactive protein? How is your cardiovascular health looking? It's just a snapshot into the current conditions of your body. And it's it's pretty good predictor of the direction you're going to be going, okay? If you continue the things you're doing right now in the next three, five, ten years, like if there's already insulin resistance, yeah, that's probably going to lead to diabetes, right? If there are inflammatory markers, then you know what? It might lead to heart disease. Like it's it's not um, rocket science. It's just doing the, the calculations. You know, there's a lot of unknowns in life, of course. Like that person could, you know, die in an accident too, and that's not going to show up in lab work. But there are some knowns. There are some knowns. If someone is doing, you know, really hard drugs, like over time, that is clearly going to break their body and their mental state as well. So... That's what I like about Guayacwood. It's kind of like doing lab work on your spirit in a way like, okay, here is how you're operating at this moment. Here's a little snapshot of how you're operating at this moment. And if you continue to operate in this way, you know, with your patterns and your habits and et cetera, I'm talking emotional habits, spiritual habits, your physical habits too, like the whole complete picture here. When you look at how you're operating right now, it's going to give you a pretty decent projection of what to expect in the next three, five, 10, 15, 20 years. And so Guayac would kind of like, it's like putting on a VR headset and just kind of shoots you into the future and based upon current inputs and be like, hey, this is how it's gonna turn out. Okay. And, and what I like about it is that it brings the future into the present. It gives us like a real tangible experience in our body of what is possibly going to happen, how it may turn out. And so based upon that reading, right, kind of like lab work, you can make this decision or ask more questions of like, okay, how am I going to shift or change this so that my future is going to be a different outcome. I forgot to mention, before you use Guayacwood, and I'm going to give you a blend on how to use this, you want to make sure that you are coming at it with a question, all right? Ask a question and 
it will reveal some answers for you. And, and, and even as you are getting some answers, you can continue to ask it questions as it's diffusing in your home. Continue to ask it more questions because you can change your inputs. It's kind of like hypothetically, if I shift this and this and that, then what's going to happen? Okay, what if I shift it this way? Then what could happen after that? So you're in a way like gathering some data and information to make sure to confirm, to validate that the direction you're going, you're on point. Or the direction you're going, you need to tweak a few things if you're wanting this particular outcome. Or maybe like, oh, you need to invite this person, this type of person in your life, or you need to take away that type of person in your life in order to change the outcome. It gives you so much real information. This is just warning, not for somebody who can't handle like hard truths and facts and realities, okay? Like someone who maybe hides away from their bank account, for example, like, oh, la, 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 I don't wanna see, I don't wanna know what's happening in my bank account. I don't recommend <laughs> a person who is in that type of condition in that state to use something like guayac wood because it might be too much all at once. So if you're ready to, in a way, be coached, in a way, be mentored and guided by guayac wood, then by all means, liberally use it, okay? So here is a diffuser blend that I recommend. You're going to do three drops of guayac wood and then two drops of Spanish sage, which is another newer oil. I'll do a video on that later. And then two drops of lemon. Okay, so three guayac wood, two Spanish sage, and two drops of lemon. You're gonna put that in your diffuser. And remember, as you are gathering your bottles and putting in the drops of oils, you're going to ask the questions that you have, that you're curious about, about, okay, what am I on the right track? Or do I need to change this or change that in order to achieve this outcome, this, you know, end desired big goal? So, come at it with questions and be open, like be in a space where you are open to receive these answers, all right? I wouldn't just flippantly use guayac wood. It needs to be used with very deep intentions. Well, if you love this content, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell so that you can be notified when a new video is up every week. And check out one of my books. I've got four of them to choose from. I'm fabulous, I am worthy, I am magnetic, and the dictionary on the spiritual, mental, and emotional benefits of the essential oils are all in elements of emotion, my newest baby. <laughs> and if you want to check out some other videos, I highly recommend The Spirit of Madagascar Vanilla and Excess is not abundance. All right, we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.